Have you ever wondered why a boat sometimes flies a spinnaker without a jib, and sometimes with a jib? Today we're going to explain five reasons why a boat might fly a spinnaker with a jib. The fifth reason to fly a spinnaker with a jib is at a mark rounding. Almost all racing boats do this in order to stay fully powered up for as long as possible around the race course. We've just rounded the windward mark and switched from sailing upwind to sailing downwind. We leave the jib flying while we launch the spinnaker. This ensures we're never sailing the boat bald-headed, which isn't fast. But in light air like we have here, we generally take the jib down shortly after hoisting the spinnaker to make it easier to trim the spinnaker. The fourth reason to fly a spinnaker with a jib is to assist with spinnaker takedown, especially at the downwind mark where we switch from downwind to upwind sailing. We hoist the jib with the spinnaker still flying and fly both together until we approach the mark, at which point we take down the spinnaker in the wind shadow of the jib. If it's at the leeward mark, the jib is ready to go for the upwind leg, and if not, the jib still does a great job of keeping the spinnaker from refilling during the takedown. The third reason for flying a spinnaker with a jib is generally done in higher wind, especially with faster boats where the apparent wind is forward of the beam even when sailing downwind. Here we are on a Cheetah 30 Sport boat with a Flying Tiger 10 on the left. Flying the jib and spinnaker together can provide a more balanced sail plan and is like a belt and suspenders to keep the boat from rounding up if the wind goes too far forward and the spinnaker collapses. If the spinnaker does collapse, the mainsail can act like a huge wind vane, overpower the rudder, turn the bow of the boat into the wind, and cause a wipeout. Here the spinnaker is collapsing on the Flying Tiger 10. If they hadn't been flying their jib, they most likely would have wiped out. The spinnaker collapse does slow them down, but the jib keeps the boat on its feet and pointing in the right direction. It's also nice to have the jib up to blanket the spinnaker and keep the boat pointing downwind in the event of emergency takedown. And if you sail a high performance boat, it's not a matter of if you wipe out with a spinnaker, but when and how bad. Which brings us to the second reason to fly a spinnaker with a jib, and that is to make it easier to recover from a wipeout. When a boat wipes out, it's often because the forces on the sails overpower the rudder's ability to point the boat where you want it to go. A wipeout can even lift the rudder completely out of the water, which makes it very difficult to point the boat downwind again. Having a jib up can help counteract the tendency of the mainsail to point the bow up into the wind, help push the bow downwind, and get the mast pointing towards the sky again. The final reason to fly a spinnaker with a jib, in conjunction with the reasons above, and especially in higher wind, is that it just looks totally cool. And tearing along, knowing you can get the spinnaker down, you're less likely to wipe out, can recover more easily if you do, while looking good at the same time, is completely priceless. If you agree, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.